So now I'd like to talk a little bit about the difference of flow across a ripple, uh, particularly at the lower flow speed end, uh, versus what's more common at a dune. So I've been drawing the flow separation with a line like this, but as soon as the flow goes over the crest of a ripple, the flow can actually expand, and that creates uh, some extra turbulence. Uh, and so the, the flow isn't actually a particular line like this, and you can get some back flow uh, coming along when the flow intersects the bed again. Right. So, and then when the flow is deflected across the, the back of the, the next ripple that's downstream, the boundary layer re reestablishes itself again. In a dune, there's so much, there's a really strong flow going across from the separation point, and you end up with the zone of shear because your, your flow speed is very low at the bottom and it's very high at the top, there's this shear zone uh, that creates a significant amount of turbulence. And in some cases, if that shear is large enough, it starts dragging this low speed water into the flow, and that creates a low pressure at this zone right on the downstream side of the dune, and that pulls water actually in the upstream direction to fill in that low pressure zone. So this is the example of a roller vo vortex where at high flow speeds in front of dunes you get flow that actually goes upstream. In some cases you can even develop, if that flow is fast enough, you can actually even develop ripples between the dunes migrating upstream. It's that difference in behavior of the turbulence that causes the difference between ripples and dunes. So one of the reasons that the, the change from ripples to other bed forms is abrupt is that ripples in general depend on the laminar part of the flow layer, whereas the other parts depend on the turbulence, the overall um, turbulence structure. So when we talked about the Bernoulli effect, um, we often had a small flow change, and that and it and when that's happening within the laminar sublayer, you tend to get ripples. Usually, the flow is in when it's slow enough um, to form ripples in fine grain sizes. There's no movement in the uh, larger grain sizes. So the ripples depend on the laminar sublayer, whereas um, other bed forms. depend on the structure of the turbulence. So in general, when you go from ripples into dunes, you're going from an effect of the laminar sublayer into the uh, a more of a the turbulence of the boundary layer. And the same thing, again, uh, going from ripples into upper planar. Okay. And you tend not to get dunes in uh, this transition because the grains aren't large enough, the grains aren't heavy enough to pile up into dunes. Instead, they tend to um, have very, very long trajectories down the flow, which tends to give you planar beds.